Topping today's news, a man shot and killed on Cowpen Road. A female security officer raped while at work on Paradise Island. African banks and the Bahamas strengthening ties with a special signing today. And forest fires on North Andros brought under control. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Jarino Saunders. This is your JCN Evening News. It is a pleasure to have you join us. Police detectives are investigating the circumstances surrounding the fatal shooting of an adult male off Cowpen Road on Wednesday night. Earlier today, while at the office of the Prime Minister, Commissioner of Police Clayton Fernander shared details about this latest murder and its victim. We don't have an identification on this individual at this time, but we know it's a male, appeared to be in his late 20s, maybe early 30s, have dreadlocks, and we're appealing to members of the public who may have some loved one uh, missing uh, to please come in to the, any police station uh, to give whatever information. Uh, we suspect that uh, he was shot in a vehicle and was thrown from that vehicle after he was shot. Uh, we have officers on the ground as we speak, uh, canvassing the area, communicating with persons living in that area, and also with a view of trying to collect any footage from maybe private home or business establishment and to check our CCTV cameras that are placed uh, in that uh, area. So we are appealing to members of the public who live in that area to please any information uh, to come forward. According to Commissioner of Police, this is the 38th homicide for the year. Meanwhile, around 1 p.m. this afternoon, police reported that an adult male and a juvenile male were shot while at a residence on Cambridge Lane off Nassau Street. Both victims received non-life-threatening injuries. Meanwhile, Police Commissioner Fernanda also shared details on a sexual assault that took place on Paradise Island on Wednesday night. There was also a sexual offense matter that happened after 11 p.m. last evening at uh, Paradise Island on a property. A female security officer who was on duty at the time, uh, she was approached by two males, one armed with a knife and the other a firearm. They held her at bay and she was sexually assaulted officers at this moment is on the ground uh, continuing their investigation with a view of trying to bring some speedy closure uh, to this matter. On Grand Bahama, Leroy Cooper, 32 years old, from Tamborin Street in Freeport, was arraigned in the magistrate's court with assault with the intent to commit rape in connection with an incident that occurred on April 4th at a local resort in eastern Grand Bahama involving a juvenile female. Cooper was not required to enter a plea and was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections until June 26th. The changeover process has begun for McGrayfield Electronic Security and the ankle monitoring company taking over from Metro Security Solutions after police revealed Metro Security Solutions used faulty devices. Commissioner Clayton Fernander today provided an update on the transition of changing the ankle monitors on each individual. Uh, that process is going very smoothly. It started uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, we have already started from the Southern Island, come right down, uh, the changeover, and that is going uh, well. Uh, the uh, old company, uh, Microfill, and uh, the, the last company, uh, they are working closely uh, together uh, to ensure a smooth transition. The family of islands, we travel there, we use the resources we have, our police plan, and we started from the south. Well, the islands are very small, not much individuals are being monitored on the various farm, the island, but we started from the southern area and came right down. So that is going smoothly. Fernanda described the logistics of the transition as police and the two companies work from island to island to get it done. Uh, Metro. 
they take the lead and their responsibility is to reach out to the various. The various is the persons who are being monitored. And they will reach them. Uh, there's a location identified based on the area that they live in. And again, we want to thank uh, the churches because we are using even some of the church halls in different areas. Just say Camp Road. Everyone who lives in that area from Camp Road uh, who is being monitored, we give them a time to go there. And then both teams will meet them there. And that's the switch over. Commissioner Fernando revealed there are about 600 people currently on bail and being monitored. He said around 50 people have already been outfitted with the new ankle monitoring systems. It marks the fortification of a bridge connecting Africa to the Bahamas and the Caribbean. Today, the government of the Bahamas and the African Export-Import Bank held a signing ceremony for the Bahamas to host the 31st African Export-Import Bank annual meeting 2024, set for June 12th to the 15th. Prime Minister Philip Davis at the signing said this meeting held in the Bahamas is a symbol of what can be accomplished through unity. Prime Minister Davis described the relationship as pioneering and in keeping with the AFRI Exim Bank's commitment to expand operations into the Caribbean through the establishment of the Caribbean Exim Bank with the potential for much development in the Caribbean region. The AFRI Exim Bank foreshadows an investment of some $700 million into the Caribbean region. And finally, in this segment, the Ministry of Education says they have been in correspondence with the Bahamas Educators Managerial Union regarding matters of concern. The ministry is saying this much in response to the union's application for a strike vote. The ministry says the most recent communication sent to the managerial union was one that focused on matters outlined by the union, including promotions and confirmations. However, the managerial union is claiming that certain matters were not addressed, prompting the ministry to ask for clarification. According to the Ministry of Education, they are still awaiting a response from the union to say exactly what their outstanding issues are. The Ministry of Education said the relationship between both parties has been harmonious and they regret BEMU's decision to move for a strike vote. However, they hope matters can be resolved in a timely fashion. We'll take a break here. We'll be right back after these commercials.